WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman for the 1 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Dow's up 260 points at 33,863. Just right now hitting the 200-period exponential moving average, and that was resistance in the big turnaround on the 29th of September. Uh, we'll see if the, there's a reverse here and it can break out of that and get to the um, – 33,950s, maybe even 34,000 this week. But that's a big test coming up. S&P right now, S&P is up uh, 44 points. And the Dow is up 0.7 percent. The S&P is up uh, 1.03. At 4380, it is up 44. Very nice move now, piercing the 50-period exponential moving average. This is going to be the support to uh, the resistance to monitor QQQ index 100, trading very sharply up up 1.07%, uh, up 390 at 370.44. This is also testing the left side high of September, that big red candle where there was a sharp pullback and a gap down the next day. We'll see how it can handle this so far. It's very nice action. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, up 1.6%, up 283 at 176. We're going to watch this closely because that's the small caps. And looking at gold, <clears throat> gold is up 11 at 1875. This is good action. It wasn't that good when it was only up five, but now it's taken out yesterday's high. It's testing the 14-period moving average. So it's at 1874, and the dollar is probably pulling back a little more. Yeah, dollar's down 0.36 and 105.70. That little doji candle at that peak E at the resistance in the up channel. I'll talk about that in the show coming up. I'm going to be doing a Larry's Hour. He has COVID. Uh, we're looking at the uh, crude oil. Crude oil is... Um, it's holding okay. It's at 85.95, down 43 cents. And the TLT, TLT is rallying. It is up 18 ticks at 86.97. So yields are coming down a little bit. So with that said, I will be coming in in a few moments' time to do the next hour. Larry Pesavento's Trade What You See. I'll be doing the hour uh, to fill in that time. Looking forward to it because this is a very exciting moment. We were looking at the five-minute E-mini which could not break down below the 14-period uh, uh, moving average. It did that, and yet it's still holding very well. I'll be back in a moment. Look forward to it. Everything in the universe